Hello friends. Since the industrial revolution, manufacturing processes have become increasingly mechanized with better and more efficient machines capable of producing incredible quantities in a very short time. Here we present you a production process of the best we have found. Watch and tell us what you think. Enjoy watching. A propeller is a fan-like rotating structure, usually at the stern of a ship, that provides thrust to move the ship. Most ships use conventional propeller types. However, different propellers are used in some ships depending on the need and requirement. Controllable pitch. Propeller, which is the most used propeller type today, is next in ship propeller types. The controllable propeller blade angle allows the boat to move forward or backward and to stop more easily. Controllable pitch propellers are suitable when used with a side thruster, when entering or leaving port, or when ship speed needs to be changed frequently. When the ship needs to be stopped in an emergency, this type of propeller can respond immediately from full forward to full reverse. Shipbuilding is the process from the beginning of a ship's design to its commissioning. This process is carried out in design offices and shipyards with a team of naval engineers. It is the process where the dimensions and form of the ship such as width, length, depth, draft. According to the type, service speed, tonnage, materials and equipment to be used in the construction process are determined, the budget is created, the suppliers are determined. At this stage, the dimensions and form of the ship are determined and hydrostatic and strength calculations of the ship are made. It is optimized to optimize the behavior of the ship according to sea and weather conditions. The production process is started according to the pictures and tables prepared according to the results. Production covers the process of assembling and testing the materials selected according to the prepared project documents in appropriate forms and conditions. Passenger aircraft, in general, is an aircraft that has been produced only for the purpose of carrying passengers. They are also used for the transportation of passengers' luggage and partially other materials as well as passengers. The term passenger aircraft refers to high-capacity and performance aircraft used mostly by airlines. However, light planes are also used to transport a small number of passengers, mostly short distances. Passenger planes are frequently preferred transportation, especially in international journeys, as they save time. Our tools The thought of diving under the sea and benefiting from the blessings of the sea and the seabed has a history of thousands of years that eroded human dreams. However, it is rumored that the idea of incorporating submarine ships into the naval forces is a striking power element. By making use of the concealing and covering nature of the seas began with Alexander the Great. Aristotle writes that Alexander used barrel shaped underwater weapons to defeat these sailors and combatants who resisted him for seven months in the capture of the city of Tyre. There, 
were times when they were underwater for an hour each in the Ottoman Empire and a crocodile-shaped boat in the Ottoman Empire. The name of this boat was Tad El Bahir. In addition, the inability of the human mind to set boundaries between countries for the seas, the necessity of protecting the sea not only from above but also from below, has been one of the main considerations for submarines. 2. One of the determining power elements of the World War II was the level of development and maneuverability and adequacy of the submarines used. With the development of technology, the simplification of depth and pressure issues, and the fact that submarines act as a cruiser with the addition of guided missiles and the tests made has become a deterrent in wars. Automobiles, which form the most important part of our lives, have gone through countless tests and factories to become what they are today. Cars, which are seen as a passion for some and just a tool for others, were first produced in 1913 by Henry Ford in a factory. Machinery and huge modern technologies make up a large part of automobile production. Large sheets of metal and other parts of the car are put together one by one like a jigsaw puzzle. Although the machine plays a large part, workers and engineers do the trial and error tests, the car's design processes, and other important work.